So today we're going camping at the Saranova Tract. So that's in the Southwest Florida Water, Man Water Management District. A lot of people say you can't boondock in Florida, but we're here to prove that wrong. This is the Starkey Wilderness Preserve, the Saranova Track, Southwest Florida Water Management District. So we just got to the gate. This is one of those gates where they give you a code. Yep. You've got to sign up beforehand and you get an email yeah, with the code. Yeah, they give you an email with the code. Well, that was easy. When we look for campsites, we like to find places that are off the beaten path. Many RVers struggle to find affordable camping options that provide the beauty and tranquility of nature without the crowds. It's easy to find campsites that are either ridiculously expensive or overrun with people that just ruins the whole wilderness experience. It's a real bummer when you're looking forward to escaping the hustle and bustle of city life only to find yourself stuck in a crowded campsite. We've been there, done that, and honestly, it's just not what we're looking for. For us, camping is all about reconnecting with nature, and that's impossible when you're surrounded by people and noise. Have you ever found yourself in a similar situation where you're craving a peaceful camping experience but just can't seem to find it? We love to find amazing free camping spots in the woods, and we're excited to share this most recent one with you. We want this video to give you a peek into the Saranova Track so you know what to expect when coming here. Whether you're a seasoned camper or just starting out, these free camping spots can be very impressive. One of the most important things to consider when wilderness camping is the accessibility of the site. You don't want to find yourself stuck in a remote location with no way to get help if you need it. That's why we'll talk about cell phone service and show you close up what the sites look like so you know what to expect when you arrive. So to the right is the primitive campground and to the left is the equestrian campground. The primitive campground is just for tents. The equestrian campground, you can have bigger RVs. When it comes to free camping in Florida's woods, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. Firstly, be sure to follow the rules and regulations of each site. Some areas may have specific guidelines for camping, so make sure to do your research beforehand. Secondly, always practice leave no trace camping. This means you take all your trash with you when you leave and leaving the site in the same condition as you found it. It's essential to respect the environment and other campers, so be sure to do your part. So now we just pulled up to the campsite and now we're going to use our camp leveling which is a one touch earth leveling system and I'm basically going to go to the level here it shows you our pitch and roll and all I do is just hit auto and it will automatically level the truck. You can kind of see it going when it's green it means it's level zero zero so we are perfectly level so now we're going to put on our slides with the bluetooth rv intelligence first the passenger slide next we're putting out the driver slide and now for the rear slide our mount for our Starlink, a mobile mount now that you can do it in Rome. And we'll go ahead and put the awning out too. This campground has natural beauty. It's secluded and it has trails for your horses. So whether you're a solo camper or with a group of friends, this spot should be on your list to check out. A 
Okay, and now for our torque lift glow steps. Pull the pin, lift the handle. Position it and just pull them out. So we're just basically walking back the way that we came in. So when we came in, we came in that way. And I think Donna taped the sign. So the horse campground's that way and the primitive campground, which is tent campground, is that way. We'll walk down this way to show you what it is. But if I remember correctly, I think it's three or five different campsites, uh, tent campsites back in here. But you'd be surprised at how little these type of campgrounds are being used um, everybody wants that full hookup if you can go off grid for a couple of days you can have a really nice time here and I think I've mentioned it before but it's free and uh, I had full bars we got Verizon so cell phone signal is pretty good so we're not even setting up our Starlink because we can just use our cell phones um, but the, the tree branches aren't too bad. There's a couple of ones that are a little low, but like I said, nothing that you really have to freak out about. We're about, what do you think? Maybe a half mile, mile off the main road, babe? Yeah, about a mile. And you come to a traffic light and you basically go over you know, cross the traffic light into the woods. It's kind of cool looking like, where is this going? Um, but, uh, and then you come to the gate and there's, it's actually, it, the gate is actually where a trailhead is at. So there was a couple of van lifers parked in there. I guess they didn't have codes to get back here um, that were parked over there by the trailhead uh, when we came in this morning. So our reservation technically doesn't start till three o'clock in the afternoon. So you have to be aware of that. But because we're so, I wouldn't say experienced, but we've done this before, and we know that these things are very rarely used, that we didn't think that anybody would even notice if we came in this morning. So kind of keep that in mind, but your reservation will say three o'clock. Um, and when there is a campground host, we've never been turned away. They're like, a lot of times when you come in, they'll meet you at the gate and they'll want to see your reservation, and then boom, you're done. So, um, but if I remember correctly, I think it's a 14 day stay here. So if you're looking for free camping, you really need to check out the website I told you about. And then when you're on the East Coast, guess what? You look up the Southeast Water Management website and do it there. So they do have bathroom facilities here. So if you don't know what that is, it's a vault toilet and it also has porta potties next door and let's just see what it looks like how scared are we going to be oh it's locked okay so that makes that makes sense why there's porta potties that's actually not too bad from what i've been told they come in here once a day and clean these out that's actually not too bad so this is the shortcut back to where we camped at the horse campground because i can't say the other word equestrian. what equestrian all right queen of the camper so back here again is the tent sites and i do see one car back in there so there must be a someone back here still but other than that like I said there was two other campers here when we got here this morning about I don't know about 8 30 and we were here maybe 30 minutes and they had packed up and left for the day 
but some of these campsites are freaking huge, man. Let's walk back here, babe. So you park here, obviously, in the front, and you walk in to the tent site. So kind of give you an idea how big this is. So you could have numerous friends back in here. And it goes all the way back. We're not going to go all the way back there because there's somebody camping back there. But just want to show you how big this one campsite is. It's pretty big. It's got your typical picnic table and fire ring. They don't have any bands on fires right now, so you're good to go. And like I said, they have all kinds of trails back in here. And you can ride your bicycles, walk, hike, all that kind of stuff on all the trails. By proof of that. And I'm not really sure what the name of the trailhead is here. I guess you could go to all trails and look it up. But we don't plan on doing any hiking today because it's still pretty warm here in Florida. But uh, before we left, we put the air conditioner on. Yep, air conditioner. No, no hookups, but we got plenty of solar that we can run our air conditioner. How you doing? Good. So we can run our air conditioner for about 20, 20, about roughly a day before we completely drain the batteries. So it should be nice and cool in the air conditioner when we get back. Now, unfortunately, you'll see crap like that where people just leave their trash. Don't do that. Don't be that person. As you can see, it's pristine, and all of a sudden you see, boom, a bag of trash like that. That's just ridiculous. Pack it in, pack it out. Just remember that, you know? Pack it in, pack it out. So this looks like it goes further back there. And I can hear my baby going, huff, 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 huff. So she's probably not wanting to walk all the way back there. So we're going to stop here and go back. So this is the road that connects to the horse campground with the tent campground. Today's date, I don't even know. What is today's date, babe? September 22nd. 22nd or 20th? September 20th. 20th. September 20th. Today's a Friday. And it's probably about 85 degrees out right now. It's supposed to be probably low 90s. Just kind of give you an idea. One thing I, I don't like about when, when I watch other people's YouTube videos is they never tell you when they're doing it. <laughs> I wish they would because I always have to go through the description to kind of see if they, you know, three years ago on this date, it would be awesome. So if you're a YouTuber, please do that. You can tell it's really well manicured. Don't forget to comment on your camp spots. We would appreciate if you could like and subscribe for more RV and outdoor adventure tips.